UN Climate Summit begins in Peru. Officials from over 190 nations, including India, on Monday converged in Lima at the UN Climate Summit to negotiate on a new ambitious and binding deal to cut global carbon emissions, in the last chance to reach on a historic deal to be signed next year in Paris. Tabera Mon Vazquez Rosas won Uruguay presidential election 2014. Tabera Mon Vazquez Rosas on 30 November 2014 won the 2014 presidential elections of Uruguay extending the decade-long rule of a leftist coalition, Vazquez belongs to the leftist Broad Front Coalition Party of Uruguay. Modi dedicates Tripura power plant to nation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday dedicated to the nation the second unit of the 726 megawatts gas-based power plant at Palatana in Tripura. A host of dignitaries from India and Bangladesh, which facilitated transportation of heavy machineries to the plant, were present on the occasion. The Economic Times Awards for Corporate Excellence announced. The Economic Times Awards for Corporate Excellence was announced on 30 November 2014. The awards were announced in the following category, Business Leader of the Year, Dilip Shangvi. Company of the Year, Tata Consultancy Services. Emerging Company of the Year, Adani Ports and Says. Global Indian of the Year, Satya Nadella. Startup of the Year. Zamato, Business Reformer of the Year, UK Signer, Corporate Citizen of the Year, Tata Steel, Lifetime Achievement, Yusuf Hamid, Entrepreneur of the Year, Daraj Rajaram and Chandra Shekhar Ghosh, Egypt Court declared Islamic State of Iraq and Syria a terrorist group, an Egyptian court on 30 November 2014 declared the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, group as a terrorist organization and banned it in the country. ICC names SAP as analytics and cloud partner for 2015 World Cup. The International Cricket Council, ICC, today announced an innovative new partnership with SAP Say, a worldwide leader in enterprise application software services, as its exclusive analytics and cloud partner for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015. Bich Hung Bhushia conferred with AFC Hall of Fame award. Former Indian football captain Bich Hung Bhushia has been conferred with the Asian Football Confederation Hall of Fame award. Vajpayee's birthday to be celebrated as Good Governance Day. Film artist Duncan Campbell won Turner Prize for the year 2014. Film artist of Ireland Duncan Campbell on the 1st of December 2014 won Turner Prize 2014 for a video called It For Others. The video reflects on African art and includes a dance sequence inspired by Karl Marx. He received the prize of £25,000 at Tate Britain in London. Rajdeep Saad's I penned the book titled 2014. The election that changed India. The book was released on the 1st of November 2014. Bollywood actor Divan Varma passes away. Veteran actor filmmaker Divan Varma, best known for his comic performance in Katamitha and Angor, passed away this morning at his residence following a heart attack, family sources said. He was 78. Russia launched new generation GLONASS navigation satellite. Russia on the 30th of November 2014 launched the new generation navigation satellite GLONASS from the Plesetsk Space Center in Russia's northwestern Arkhangelsk region. Anil Sina takes over as new CBI chief. Mr. Sina is the third consecutive chief of the agency from Bihar following Ranjit Sina and A.P. Singh. SBI Cards ties up with Future Group to offer co-branded card. SBI Cards has tied up with Future Group company fashion at Big Bazaar, FBB, to offer a co-branded credit card, Style Up, World Bank. ADB to assist app in Hudhud Cyclone Relief Works. Teams from World Bank and ADB now on a visit here have assured the Andhra Pradesh government to assist the state in Cyclone Hudhud Rehabilitation Works. Second Tendulkar to lead Kerala in a run ahead of National Games Sports Mad Kerala will launch itself into a frenzied run ahead of the start of 35th National Games here with brand ambassador and cricket legend Sakin Tendulkar, no less.
in the lead. Kanara Bank wins trophy. Kanara Bank has been conferred with the Niriat Bandhu Silver Trophy in the In the Banks category for its support services rendered for promotion of exports. President Pranab Mukherjee handed over the trophy to Kanara Bank Executive Director versus Krishan Ekima in Delhi on Tuesday. Justice Krishna Iyer passes away. Eminent jurist and former Supreme Court Judge, Justice V. R. Krishna Iyer, passed away at a private hospital in Kokhi around 3.30 p.m. on Thursday. He died due to renal and cardiac failure, hospital sources said. He was hospitalized for a fortnight. Nandra Modi named Asian of the Year by Singapore's Straits Times. Prime Minister Nandra Modi was today named Asian of the Year for being a development-focused leader by editors of Singapore's Leading Daily. The Straits Times, RBI relaxed norms for PPIs and doubled the limit to 1 lakh rupees. The Reserve Bank of India on 3 December 2014 relaxed the norms for prepaid payment instruments and doubled the limit of PPI from 50,000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees. The move would help in achieving the objective of limiting cash transactions in the system. Ray I. Chief Rayninder becomes first elected Indian in ISSF committee. National Rifle Association of India President Rain Inda Singh has created history by becoming the first Indian to become an elected member of the all-powerful International Shooting Sport Federation, ISSFS Executive Committee. PSU Bank ATMs will be able to print in Hindi soon. ATMs installed by state-owned banks will soon have the facility for issuing the transaction receipt in Hindi. Finance Minister Aaron Jaitley said on Friday in response to a question in the Lok Sabha, Ashton Carter new U.S. Defense Secretary. U.S. President Barack Obama yesterday named Ashton Carter, a technocrat and academic with deep experience working in the Pentagon, to replace Chuck Hagel as U.S. Defense Secretary. Aaron Dougal appointed as non-executive chairman of credit rating agency ICRA. Credit Rating Agency Limited on 5 December 2014 appointed Aaron Dougal as non-executive chairman after he was elected unilaterally by the ICRA board. Currently, Aaron Dougal is serving as an independent director on the board of ICRA Limited. India sets new world record for largest human flag. India today set a new world record for the largest human flag, formed by over 50,000 volunteers, beating the previous record held by Pakistan. Dev Shah becomes world champion in under 7 category in World Schools Chess Championships. Seven-year-old Dev Shah of Mumbai has become the youngest rated chess player from India. Indian blind cricket team lifts World Cup after defeating Pakistan. India lifts the blind cricket World Cup after defeating Pakistan by five wickets. In the summit clash defending champions Pakistan scored 389 runs for the loss of seven wickets in 40 overs in Cape Town. South Africa yesterday, Ladies Nosera of France won Hero Women's Indian Golf Open 2014. Ladies Nosera of France on the 6th of December 2014 won the Hero Women's Indian Golf Open 2014 at the Delhi Golf Club. She received the prize money of 300,000 US dollars. Hockey Olympian Grihan Anden Singh died. Hockey Olympian Grihan Anden Singh died on the 7th of December 2014 in New Delhi. He was 88. Warren Buffet became second richest person of world. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Warren Buffet became second richest person in the world. He replaced Carlos Slim, business magnate of Mexico. Bill Gates is the world richest person. Human Rights Day observed globally on 10 December. Human Rights Day was observed globally on the 10th of December 2014. The theme for the 2014 Human Rights Day is Human Rights 365. The theme was based on the idea that every day is Human Rights Day and everyone is entitled to basic Human Rights Day. As Imprim G awarded Swiss Ambassadors Award. 
chairman of Wipro as Imprim G was awarded Swiss Ambassador's Award in Mumbai. He was awarded for inspirational and socially responsible leadership. Pakistan 8th most dangerous country in the world, report. A US-based intelligence think tank has placed Pakistan 8th in the list of the most dangerous countries in the world which is led by Iraq. Ebola fighters named Times 2014 Person of the Year. The countless doctors, nurses and caregivers at the forefront of battling one of the worst ever outbreaks of the deadly Ebola virus, were collectively named as Time magazine's 2014 Person of the Year. Russia agrees with India to construct 12 nuclear reactors. Russia's state-owned Rosatom said it would supply 12 nuclear energy reactors for India over 20 years under an agreement aimed at boosting nuclear energy cooperation signed by the two countries during a summit in New Delhi on Thursday. A 1,000 megawatt reactor is operating at the Russian-built Kulankulam power station in India's Tamil Nadu district, with a second due to come on stream in 2015. Randa Singh appointed as honorary member of IOC. Randa Singh was appointed as an honorary member of the International Olympic Committee. IOC. He was appointed as the honorary member during the IOC session in Monaco held from the 8th of December 2014 to the 9th of December 2014. Anirag Jain appointed as Joint Secretary. Senior as Officer Anirag Jain was appointed as the Joint Secretary in Prime Minister's Office, PMO of India. Tata Power acquired 540 megawatts thermal power plant for 3000 crore rupees. Tata Power on acquired 540 megawatt thermal power plant in Maharashtra for 3000 crore rupees. The thermal plant was acquired from the promoters of IRB infrastructure. With this deal, Tata Power aimed to increase its total capacity to 8,885 megawatts. Delhi HC banned Xiaomi to sell phones in India over patent issue with Ericsson. Delhi High Court on the 10th of December 2014 banned Xiaomi to sell phones in India over patent issue with Ericsson. The High Court ordered Xiaomi to not bring any new phones into India nor sell or advertise them here unless it resolves the legal issues surrounding its operations. 22 states, union territories support bill to prevent honor killings. As many as 22 states and union territories have supported a law commission recommendation to bring a bill to prevent honor killings, but Govton refused to fix a timeline to put in place a legal framework, saying a decision will be taken after due consultations. Dianshwar Sharma has been appointed as the next Chief of Intelligence Bureau IB. Rui Singh won Miss Universal Peace and Humanity 2014. Rui Singh of India was in news because she won Miss Universal Peace and Humanity 2014 at Beirut, Lebanon. She is the first person to win this pageant from India and she won the pageant among the 145 other countries. A Shabosal awarded Def Lifetime Achievement Award 2014. Playback singer Asha Bossel on the 10th of December 2014 was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 11th Dubai International Film Festival held in Dubai. Rahman and Jal for Oscars. India's music maestro A.R. Rahman may end up getting his third Oscar nomination in the Best Original Score category after making it to the list of 114 probable. PM Na and Modi launched Born Again on the Mountain by Aruna Mosina. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a book titled Born Again on the Mountain by Aruna Masina. Miss South Africa Roleen Strauss crowned Miss World 2014. Miss South Africa, Roleen Strauss was crowned Miss World 2014 at the final of the beauty pageant held in London, UK. World Hockey Body suspends two Pakistani players following obscene gestures. Two Pakistani field hockey players were suspended and one was reprimanded for making obscene gestures after their team's semi-final win over hosts India in the Champions Trophy semi-final, the sport's governing body said on Sunday. Anru Jugnauth appointed as Mauritius Prime Minister. Anru Jugnauth was appointed as Mauritius Prime Minister by the President Periag on the 14th of December 2014. Taliban storm Pakistan school attack the work of savages. A Taliban attack on a school in Pakistan has been widely condemned as un-Muslim, 
abhorrent, inhumane and disgusting. Nine school staff and 132 children were killed in the attack, with pupils forced to watch one teacher burned alive in front of them. There have been reports some of the dead were beheaded, while others were shot and at least one suicide bomber detonated their explosives in a packed classroom. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo re-elected for another four-year term. India third on black money list. As India continues its pursuit of suspected black money stashed abroad, an international think tank has ranked the country third globally with an estimated 94.76 billion US dollars, nearly Rs 6 lakh crore illicit wealth outflows in 2012. Russia is on the top with 122.86 billion US dollars, followed by China at the second position, 249.57 billion US dollars. In terms of the quantum of black money moving out of a country for 2012, the latest year for which these estimates have been made. IRCTC tops 2014 Google search in India. The Indian Railways official website, IRCTC, was most searched in Google by people in India in 2014. The search engine company has released the list of most searched and trending words. French star Thierry Henry retires. Former Arsenal and France striker Thierry Henry announced his retirement on Tuesday ending a 20-year career in which he earned a place in the pantheon of modern greats. Viswanathan Anand won London Classic Five-time chess world champion Viswanathan Anand won his maiden London Classic title after defeating British Grandmaster Michael Adams in the fifth and final round on Monday. Xu of China won Olof Palm Human Rights Prize for the year 2014. Pro-democracy activist of China Xu won the Olof Palm Human Rights Prize for the year 2014. The award given annually by the Stockholm-based Olof Palm Memorial Fund of Sweden was announced on 16 December 2014. US decides to bid for 2024 Olympics. International Olympic Committee, IO. President Thomas Park has welcomed the U.S. decision to bid for the 2024 Games and says whichever city is chosen will be a very strong contender. The U.S. Olympic Committee board voted on Tuesday in favor of a bid, but must still decide which city to put forward among four candidates Boston, Los Angeles, San Francisco and Washington. Tata Steel chosen among 100 most valuable brands in 2014. Tata Steel BSE 1.04% has been chosen as one of the 100 most valuable brands 2014 by World Consulting and Research Corporation. The most valuable brands of the year 2014, India edition is a research endeavor to showcase and recognize brands that have established their presence and authority in the Indian market by virtue of their credibility and enormous customer loyalty. ISRO successfully launches GSLV Mark III. ISRO successfully carries out human crew module experiment, module safely splashes down into Bay of Bengal off Andaman and Nicobar Islands, also known as LVM3 slash care. This suborbital experimental mission was intended to test the vehicle performance during the critical atmospheric phase of its flight and this carried passive, non-functional, cryogenic upper stage. With today's successful launch, the vehicle has moved a step closer to its first development flight with the functional C-25 cryogenic stage. Priyanka Chopra links deal with American TV network. After launching her music career in the US, Bollywood actress Priyanka Chopra has now sealed a one-year TV development deal with ABC Television Studios. The ABC deal comes after Priyanka had a voice role in the animated feature Planes. The lunchbox honored by Toronto film critics. Indian film director Itesh Batra's The Lunchbox has been named best first feature at the 18th annual Toronto Film Critics Association, TFCA, awards in Toronto. Twins at peak of mountaineering glory by scaling Mount Vinson, Antarctica's highest mountain at 4,892 meters. Tashi Malik and Nanshi Malik from Dehradun have become the world's first twins and siblings to climb the highest peaks on the seven continents. The 23-year-old twins accomplished their mission two for seven on Tuesday night, IST, 
when they conquered the mountain, Aba bans Sarita Devi, Indian woman boxer L. Sarita Devi was on Wednesday handed a one-year ban by the International Boxing Association, Aba, for refusing to accept her bronze medal at the Asian Games. NASA's Kepler mission discovers Super Earth. NASA's planet hunting Kepler spacecraft, which is carrying out a new mission has made its first exoplanet discovery, a Super Earth located 180 light years from Earth. Versus Chairman Venya Srinivasan conferred honorary citizenship of Pusan. TVS Chairman Venya Srinivasan was made honorary citizen of Pusan, Korea. He was conferred with the citizenship for his efforts to enhance friendship and cooperation between India and Republic of Korea. He was conferred the title by Mayor of Pusan Metropolitan City, Su by Aung Su during the honorary citizenship ceremony held at Pusan. Richard Rail Verma sworn in as U.S. Ambassador to India. Indian-American Richard Rail Verma has been sworn in as the U.S. Ambassador to India by Secretary of State John Kerry. Instagram worth $35 billion, surpasses Twitter. Photo sharing website Instagram has been valued at $35 billion by Citigroup surpassing Twitter. This beats Twitter's market cap of $23 billion by a wide margin, Wired.com reported. Yats Nazuri elected as the president of the FISI. Yats Nazuri, chairperson of Bharat Hotels, on 20 December 2014 was elected as the president of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. FISI, Rajinder Khanna to be new chief of RAW, special secretary in research and analysis wing or RAW, the country's external intelligence gathering agency, Rajinder Khanna was appointed as its new chief. India observed National Mathematics Day to commemorate birth anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan India on the 22nd of December 2014 celebrated National Mathematics Day. The day is observed to commemorate the birth anniversary of great Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. Rafiq heads Atletico de Kolkata to glory. Mohamed Rafiq nodded home the most important goal in the Indian Super League as Atletico de Kolkata won the inaugural edition. The injury time goal from the substitute broke Kerala blast his hearts after a rousing first half display at the D.Y. Patil Stadium. India won men and women title of Kabaddi World Cup 2014. India on the 20th of December 2014 won the men and women title of Kabaddi World Cup 2014. This was the fifth Kabaddi World Cup. In men, India defeated Pakistan while in women. India defeated New Zealand to win the title for the fourth consecutive time. The final match of the cup was played at Guru Gobind Singh Multipurpose Stadium in Jalandhar, Punjab, India. Tendulkar named ambassador for 2015 ICC World Cup. Pakistan Russia sign $1.7 billion energy deal for the first time. Pakistan and Russia have signed an energy deal worth $1.7 billion to lay a gas pipeline from Karachi to Lahore, a move that may lead to further improvement in their ties. Bharat Ratna for Vajpayee, Madan Mohan Malaviya, the President's Office on Wednesday and in former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The announcement was made on the eve of Mr Vajpayee's 90th birthday and the 153rd birth anniversary of Pandit Malviya. Govt approves ordinance to hike FDI in insurance to 49%. Government on Wednesday approved promulgation of an ordinance to hike foreign direct investment cap in the insurance sector to 49% from 26%. Snapdeal launched online agri store to aid farmers. E-retailing firm Snapdeal.com on the 23rd of December 2014 launched the online agri store offering agricultural products to the farmers. The store was launched on the occasion of National Farmers Day. ISRO's Radhakrishnan in Nature Journal's Top 10 List Dr. K. Radhakrishnan, chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization is one of the 2014 Top 10 scientists chosen by the prestigious journal Nature. He is listed along with other people like Andrew Akamatso, the Rosetta Flight Operations Director, European Space Agency. S. Bhattacharya appointed Coal India CMD. Senior as Officer S. 
Bhattacharya has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of Coal India Limited. Oil India commissions 5 MW solar power plant in Rajasthan. Oil India Limited, India's second largest government-owned exploration firm, has commissioned its first 5 MW solar power plant in Rajasthan, Union Govt. Set up Matthew Committee to examine constitution of SIT on 1984 anti-Sikh riots. Union Ministry of Home Affairs on 23 December 2014 set up Matthew Committee to examine the possibility of constitution of a special investigation team, SIT, for reinvestigation of the 1984 anti-Sikh riot case. The committee will be headed by former Supreme Court Judge Justice G.P. Matthew. It will submit its report till April 2015. Raghuvadas to be first non-tribal chief minister of Jharkhand. Raghuvadas, national vice president of the BJP will be the first non-tribal chief minister of Jharkhand after he was elected the leader of the BJP legislature part. PM Modi nominates Kapil Sharma, Saurav Ganguly. Iran Bidi for Swakbarat Abiyan. Union government launched health mission Mission Indradanush. A health mission known as Mission Indradanush was launched by the Union Government of India. Chagat Prakashanadja, Health and Family Welfare Minister, launched the mission with a aim to cover all those children who are unvaccinated or are partially vaccinated against seven vaccine preventable diseases, which include diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, polio tuberculosis, measles and hepatitis B, by the end of the year 2020. Nadella to help in Digital India Initiative Microsoft's chief Satya Nadella, pledged support to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Digital India Initiative. Mr Nadella also met Finance Minister Aaron Jaitley and Telecom Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad and discussed modernization and security of the government's digital infrastructure among other issues. DRDO conducts maiden test flight of Panchai Panchai, the wheeled version of the unmanned aerial vehicle Nishant, capable of taking off from and landing on small airstrips, had its maiden flight from an airfield at Kola in Karnataka. Ankita wins maiden ITF singles title India's Ankita Reina overwhelmed British teenager Katie Dunn in straight sets in a one-sided final to lift her maiden $25,000 ITF singles title at the Deakin Gymkhana in Pune. Amitabhakjan honored with Yash Chopra Memorial Award Megastar Amitabhakjan was conferred with the Yash Chopra Memorial Award and said that he is still striving to deliver his best in the Indian film industry. Jet carrying 162 lost over stormy Indonesian waters Air Asia flight QZ 8501 with 155 passengers on board, including one British, one Malaysian, one Singaporean, three Koreans, and seven crew members lost contact with air traffic control at 0724 local time Indonesia. Congress marks 130th Foundation Day The Congress celebrated its 130th Foundation Day on Sunday 29 as the party marked the occasion in a low-key manner. Party President Sonia Gandhi unfurled the party flag at its 24. Akbar Road headquarters in the presence of many senior leaders. Gmail blocked in China. Great firewall suspected. Incorporated's Gmail was blocked in China after months of disruptions to the world's biggest email service, with an anti censorship advocate suggesting the Great Firewall was to blame. U.S. marks end of war in Afghanistan. The longest war in American history has come to a responsible conclusion with the withdrawal U.S. and NATO combat forces from Afghanistan. Tata Coffee names Sanjif Sarin as CEO designate. The board of directors of Tata Coffee Limited has informed Bombay Stock Exchange that it has approved the appointment of Sanjif Sarin as the CEO designate. Don't retires from Test Cricket Indian Cricket Captain Mahendra Singh Dhoni on Tuesday retired from Test Cricket with immediate effect, citing strain of playing all formats, after his team lost the border, Gavaska Trophy to Australia. Palestinian statehood resolution fails at UNSC. The UN Security Council has failed to adopt a Palestinian statehood resolution that set a deadline for the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Palestinian territories by 2017.
Ronaldo voted Europe's top footballer. Lupin's HIV drug gets used to not. Drug firm Lupin has received tentative approval from the US health regulator to market a generic version of Prezista tablets, used in treating HIV infection. The company has received tentative approval from the United States Food and Drugs Administration to market its Daronaf ear ethanol aid tablets in multiple strengths in the American market, Lupin said in a statement. IRD are renamed to Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority was renamed as Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India on 30 December 2014.